takes it across the red line, then the blue, and then Anders Lee was looking for that puck in his skates, and Christian Folan made him pay, and Lee comes right after him, and the gloves are off! Anders Lee and Christian Folan. And Anders Lee giving it to him, and the linesman will have to rescue Christian Folan. There's a little hit, perhaps. Anders thought it was a little high, but certainly he wasn't prepared for it. Then he just goes straight at him, and they drop the gloves together, so it'll just be five and five. Anders Lee, all kinds of energy there, and he's just <laughs> really destroying Fole in his knee. It's for Hedman. Hedman over the line. He'll float a bouncer, scooped up. A short hopper on Rask, and tempers flare. This might erupt. Joaquin Nordstrom, Yanni Gord, it will. The tussle here between these two. This will certainly, as you can tell, energize the crowd in the late stages of the second. They're going to try to establish some turf. Here it starts with a scramble in front of the goaltender, and you're going to get Carlo jumping in there. Big body, canceled out by another big body, and then Nordstrom and Gord get involved. Hey, Tampa Bay has been accused of not being tough enough. They've been, they picked up a couple of guys in Coleman and Goudreau at the deadline. Options of Jensen hard into the boards. Wilson comes over to defend his teammate. Nate Thompson acquired, was acquired at the deadline from Montreal by Philadelphia. and Flyers defenseman Robert Hayes. The hit Wilson put on Giroux. Oh, here, and Delmar's going to drop the gloves. Boy, this uh, might be a little out of his weight yeah, class. Yeah, Delorier, a tough customer. But Belmar involved. They must have been watching Washington and Philadelphia. And Belmar, the former Flyer, Oh boy, that last one from Delorier kind of buckled Belmar. As those two square off, 1-1 one, one here in the first. Wow, Devin Berg and uh, Pierre Razico, the two linesmen caught in the middle of that. Sherrod was not going to be held back. And now we got Sergachev, and he's going to go here with Shea Weber. And throws a couple to rights. Weber trying to get organized. Look out. Whoa! Missed with a big roundhouse. <laughs> and Sergachev and Weber get back to their skates, and they're going to keep going. Wow, that was a gigantic swing. If he'd have hit the glass with that, he'd have broken his arm, never mind his hand. Sergachev, great timing on that duck, that's for sure. Weber is a bull. That is remarkable. Right off the draw, here they go. Richie and Stillman were drawing, jawing at each other before the break as they went to the bench. And they're dropping the gloves. Richie's got the. Uh... Oh, and Richie with an extra shot there after Stillman was already down. He's a tough customer. They're still jostling there. But the reach. Here's how it all started. Well, it started before. And they came together and jawed when we went to a break and then came right back and right off the draw. Now they'll go five each for fighting. Now here's before the break. Richie was 
having words. Something was going on with Vetrano. It back and passes it right through his own goal crease. Bacchus is hit hard by Clifford. Puck picked up by Rowney, makes a move, he's in, and now behind the play, Delorier jumps in, and he and Clifford are going to go. Well, Delorier did not like the hit on David Bacchus, and that's why he goes after Kyle Clifford. Gut tells me, best case scenario, Detroit, if not maybe New Jersey. And Rod was completely non-committal before the game. This is not a non-committal circumstance here. It's Ryan Dezingle and Anthony Beauvillier. Not exactly the heavyweight championship of the world, but a couple of guys who want it here today right off the faceoff. Good for Dezingle. If you're not going to score, try to help the team in other ways. Beauvillier is a, a valuable player for the Islanders up front. I'll take this trade off. And I, I think that that will have an energy, energizing, positive, rippling effect on the Hurricanes bench because that is not in Dezingle's typical re, uh, repertoire. He had a fight in, in Ottawa. Coyle, huge in possession. Here we go. Much delayed. Wagner and Goodrow. Nothing connecting yet. Wagner gets a punch to the ear. Good roll hits the shoulder. Wagner gets the jackhammer going. Knocks Goodrow's beanie off. And then they try to get at it before they were given two minute minors for roughing. And then as soon as they get out of the penalty box, the dance was on. We got to go back to that one, Jack. That puck was across the goal line, even though the yep, referee they was sounded adamant. the siren, which means that Toronto has seen a goal. And now Pat Maroon wants to go, of course. And then Sorelli came in behind with a cross. All right, jack. all right, all right. It's time to settle things down. Corrali man handles Kalorn. You take your Harvard degree and take it to the hospital. Now Braden Point. Now it's Sorelli. On top of Coyle. And Chara's squaring off with Maroon, saying, do you want to see the afterlife? I'll take you there. Maroon gets the takedown.